Their current greats, Paul Carey. So, uh, you know, game-winning goal two years ago for Boston College in the NCAA championship game. Now playing in the AHL, lighting the lamp nonstop, scoring goals. Chris Huxley, uh, South Weymouth guy who uh, did great at Harvard and in the AHL with Manchester Monarchs. Melissa Piacentini, who uh, is uh, basically the same exact size as you uh, in every way. Uh, Tyler Piacentini, who is, uh, uh, you know, uh, very uh, short in height, but yet big and strong in stature. Uh, Charlie Coyle uh, in the NHL now from East Weymouth, and uh, Bridget Carey, who's Paul Carey's sister, who's in prep school. Uh, which one of those would you choose to put on your line with you? <laughs> Charlie Coyle. <laughs> all right. She gave, she gave the good answer. Um, all of you at home probably uh, know most of these uh, players or all these players from Weymouth. Um, obviously, Kendall's from uh, Illinois originally, and she's on the, uh, uh, the world face now. But... Um, uh, Charlie Coyle is one heck of a player. Uh, he's really fun to watch. And I, I think a couple of his parts of his game are like yours in the fact that he'll do whatever it takes to make sure the team wins. That's his goal. I mean, he just wants the team to win. He doesn't care whether he gets points or not. And uh, he lifts weights, works out off ice more than, more than most players, uh, more than any player that I know locally. Um, we know that for a fact. He's at the gym all the time. <laughs> if you want to call him up, just call the gym. Don't call his cell phone. Call the gym. <laughs> uh, same with Kendall. And um, so uh, that was a good answer. And you, and you get the uh, Mario Lemieux uh, uh, card, and it wasn't because uh, that was the, you know, all the players were, uh, you know, justifiable, but uh, it was a good answer. Uh, so now we're going to focus just on the uh, Olympics coming up. Uh, 2014 Olympics over in Russia, and uh, uh, you, you can you just talk about how it's always been your dream. Yeah, I mean, growing up, it, it wasn't my dream like growing up because I didn't really know women's hockey. I didn't know, I didn't know better. And then '98 came around, and um, most female hockey players and male actually have heard of Cami Granado. Um, she's actually from about 25 minutes from me. Um, so after the '98 games, like she had a hockey camp and. Uh, you know, she's just she's just a typical typical female hockey player. Comes to the rink, pulls her pulls her Olympic medal out of her bag, and it was like casual to her. But to me, I was like, "Holy cow, that's awesome! That's what I want to do." Yeah. And um, a year later, she she had another she had another camp in our Christmas card. That was our Christmas card one year with Cami. Um, and so when when she came around, that was the first time I really realized like female girls can play hockey. And then. Just as I've gotten older, watching the Olympic and the, just the camaraderie with the U.S. delegation and how close the athletes come, uh, it's always been a dream. Excellent. Yeah, that was my next question, uh, and that is uh, how special it is uh, to, uh, like an honor to represent Team USA. Um, also, um, the girls that you're going to have on your team, how, how excited are you to all over the whole country they're mm -hmm. represented and yet you're going to become one family yeah i mean it's, it's special every time you get to put on the jersey it's hard to explain what it feels like but um it just makes you want to be a first class citizen team first player and know that you're representing your country um i mean i'm just getting the chill sitting here now but uh i mean you just want to make everyone proud and that's what we're, we're our common goal is a gold medal in february and i think that's Every time we step in the weight room, every extra set, every little extra thing here, that's, that's the vision behind it. Excellent. And, um, and so basically what you're saying is you really don't need your name, coin, on the back of your jersey. No. That USA jersey, just everything in the world to you and your heart and soul is with your country and with, in fighting for your team. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, so uh, can you talk about uh, what the training is going to be like? You don't have to go into too much detail, but uh, mm -hmm. what the training is going to be like coming up in the next uh, few months? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty rigorous. Uh, we're going to be pretty tired, but uh, um, it's more we'll work out in the morning at Mike Boyle's strength conditioning in Woburn, Mass. And then um, from there, we'll, we'll have a two-hour skate at the Edge in Bedford. Um, and then from there, we'll play, we'll play local games and um, we'll have a Four Nations tournament uh, that hasn't been released where it's at yet. Mm -hmm. But um, and then from there we'll just continue to train and play games. But we're we don't it's we don't really know who we're playing yet. Yeah, excellent. Um, for those of you at home that want to uh, watch Kendall, not only can you watch her on TV, but you can go to the rinks. Uh, we're very fortunate to have Team USA uh, practicing and preparing in Massachusetts, 
and they will go against uh, Massachusetts college teams and uh, professional teams, perhaps the Boston Blades, maybe a scrimmage or exhibition, perhaps some of the local colleges, uh, Division One colleges. Um, it's a great way to uh, to bring like life and excitement to uh, to, to the women's game. Uh, the Team USA speaks for itself, but a lot of the colleges, there's great players out there, and. Uh, and to see them match up against Team USA, I think it would be great. Whether you have children or not, you should get over there and, uh, and uh, see some great hockey. You'll have a lot of fun with it, um, and you'll be amazed how talented they are and how aggressive and how tough they are. It's not just the skill level. It's a, it's a whole determination. And um, we'll see how the schedule uh, you know, comes out, but uh, hopefully there will be some local games we can all get to. I know I'll take my kids to it. And... Um, and then uh, watching the Olympics, I'm, I know I'm going to be on the edge of my seat watching you play and, and watching your team play. Uh, you've averaged, uh, you know, a point per game, a goal per game, basically, with uh, the Team USA so far. And um, and uh, so, once again, I'm real lucky and real fortunate to have you on today. And for those in the, uh, in the audience and people at home, uh, we're really thankful to have you on. Kendall, I want to say thank you again and um, and good luck. Thanks okay. for having me. Thank you. You uh, keep working hard. You got a good chin on, you know, you good head on your shoulders. Keep your chin up and uh, good things will happen. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, for Kendall Coyne, I'm your producer and host, Greg Rubio. Thank you for tuning into the Sports Topics Show. Take care. Bye-bye now.